Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday new product post here at SparkFun Electronics where we talk about the new products that we have for the week. We have a couple new things to talk about as well as another AVC update. So let's dive right in and talk about the new SparkFun LED kit. LEDs are very popular and they find their way into pretty much every project that most people end up doing. Inside this pack are over 75 LEDs with current limiting resistors. Inside we've got this mixed bag of the large jumbo 10 millimeter. So we got them in the various colors. Um, this little packet has a mixed variety of all sorts of different kinds. We have RGB, we have the self-changing, you know, self-cycling LEDs. We have a big pack of white LEDs. A lot of people just like, you know, a basic white LED. So we have a nice pack of those. And then in addition, we have three of these rainbow packs. And these are just kind of the basic five millimeter LED that are in all the various colors. So we have three full packs of those, and then we have several packs of the 330 ohm resistors, which are a yeah, really good value to use as a current limiting resistor with the LEDs. So if you're looking for an LED for your next project, just get one of these packs and you'll know you have what you need. This is the SparkFun Inventors Kit for LabVIEW. We've been carrying LabVIEW for several years on the website. Um, it is a great piece of software that is made by National Instruments, and they came to us and they wanted to add more hardware with the LabVIEW to get it better integrated into the Arduino ecosystem. We've designed a new hardware kit that works with the home edition of LabVIEW, which is included in this kit. Let me open it up and show you what's inside. First off, we've got this piece of paper that I will not show because it includes the serial number, but the user agreement and everything for the software is here, and it has instructions on where to go to download the software, and you do get a serial number for the software itself, so you don't have to buy that separately. And in here, we have all the goodies you need for the kit. We've got a screwdriver, we've got four sense resistor, we've got a hobby motor, we've got jumper wires, we've got resistors, we've got a cable, and then we have some cool stuff like the sound detector an accelerometer, we've got the red board, we've got some LEDs, we have a bunch of various other parts including um, some trim pots, some buttons, um, light sensors, we've got a buzzer, and we've got a servo, and then of course the breadboard and the world famous SparkFun breadboard and Arduino holder. So it's pretty much everything that you would normally see inside the standard SIK but it includes a couple extra pieces and it includes a software license for the LabVIEW software. Through our collaboration with National Instruments and LabVIEW, they have created a lot of really great tutorials for all of this. So instead of including a printed manual in this like we do for the standard SIK, they have a lot of online tutorials with videos that show you how to hook up all these circuits and how to use it with the LabVIEW software. Here I have our Wave Trigger Board, which is a super simple board that takes minimal to no programming and you can set up to 12 buttons to trigger 12 Wave files and it's super simple, super easy to use and super fun. I have set up the Wave Trigger Board with just a simple speaker and 12 buttons and the cool thing about SparkFun is we have really awesome people. Not only are they awesome, but they say some pretty awesome stuff. So I've recorded 12 different people saying 12 different awesome things, such as Dia from our Electrocute videos. I love you, but shut up. Classic Dia. We have Nick Poole, who's our other creative technologist. Oh, yeah. Classic Nick. We've got Sean, who is also in some of our videos. Fair enough. But then there's some other people that you might not know. Thanks, dude. Burn it down. Dude, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. I don't know, dude. Fair enough. The Wave Trigger just takes a simple micro SD card, so you can put all of your Wave files right onto that and plug it in, and you're ready to go. Do you have a Teensy? You'll probably want a couple accessory boards for it. We have the XB adapter for the Teensy. So you notice we've got headers along here for the footprint for the Teensy. So you plug in your own Teensy board and it gives you access to an XB header and you have a couple of um, you know, on off reset, stuff like that. So it makes it really easy to use an XB with your Teensy board. Now, let's say you wanna use your Teensy board with an Arduino. We have this little kit, which includes the shield and all the headers and other components that you will need to use your Teensy board specifically with Arduino shields. The Teensy goes here, we have the stackable headers and all the other components, and allows you to stack a shield on top of the Teensy, making a Teensy Arduino compatible. These are the new products that we have for this week. As always, we have more new products on the website at 
sparkfun.com. Tomorrow is a very big day for us. It is AVC. If you're not familiar with AVC, go ahead and check out the links in the description to this video to learn all about the event that is the Autonomous Vehicle Competition here at SparkFun. We have a couple different things this year. We have some workshops and classes that we'll be hosting, so you can learn how to solder, learn how to build a robot, or even learn how to make fine videos such as these with our videographer, Greg, who is standing right in front of me behind the camera. He'll be hosting a very lovely workshop on how to create these masterpieces. Mm -hmm.